Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm making a video and I'm gonna be showing you 10 tips and tricks that are essential when you wanna speed up your workflow inside of Adobe Illustrator. So this is for anyone who's advanced, beginner, intermediate, or just someone who wants to know a bit more about Adobe Illustrator. Let's get right into it. Before we get into the first one, I just wanna say, please press that red subscribe button down below. It does really help, and about 70% of you who watch these videos aren't subscribed. So when you do it, it means that you are notified whenever I upload another video. So make sure you press that red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Okay, the first tip is to duplicate easily and precisely. Instead of pressing Command C and then Command F or Command V, what you can do inside of Illustrator is you can duplicate a transformation or duplicate a shape in a direction previous to your last duplicate. By that, I mean you can take this circle, you can go ahead and press Alt and then drag it somewhere. And when you press Command D, as long as you're still selected on that circle, then it will duplicate it exactly again and move it to that other place. This is really good for whenever you're creating patterns or you just want to duplicate lines or make different shapes. Number two is probably an obvious one to you veterans, but to some who are intermediate, you may not know, but you can actually change the fill to the stroke by pressing X. Now, if you wanted to change the fill and the stroke on a shape, all you need to do is highlight that shape and press Shift and X, and it will swap the fill to the stroke. So if you had a black stroke with no fill, then if you switch it around, it will be the opposite. It will be a black fill with no stroke. Number three is about adding more strokes. A lot of people tend to, you know, go ahead and outline their strokes, which I'll talk about later, but you don't need to do that anymore. If you head up to window and then go to appearance panel, you'll see that any shape will be in that appearance panel. You can add multiple strokes, different effects like drop shadows, and you can keep adding strokes and then transforming them throughout the shape. This is a really powerful tool inside of Adobe Illustrator that a lot of people don't use. I guess it's probably more used by people who illustrate, who do drawings and things like that, but it can be really helpful for anyone who wants to just add multiple effects inside of one shape. Number four is copying artboards. If you're new to Illustrator, these white boxes that you see that you draw in are called artboards, and you can have multiple versions of these and you can change the shape and the size. If you want to copy an artboard or add a new one or copy the contents inside of an artboard to work on later, then all you need to do is press Shift and O. This brings you to the artboard tool and you can just drag the artboard holding Option or Alt. And when you do that, it will copy the artboard and all the contents on that artboard. Number five is using strokes to test negative space. A lot of people when they're designing logos use negative space. You'll see them in the FedEx logo. You'll see it with a lot of different shapes. Well, instead of destructively destroying shapes and using the Pathfinder option, what you can do is create shapes that are the same color as the background color. So when you put the shape over the object, you can actually just see the object. You don't see the bit where you've cut out because it looks like it's been cut out. So what I'll do normally is if I want to create a curve inside of a logo that's following a shape and to exaggerate it as a logo, I'll make the stroke of the shape that I want it to cut the same color as the background, then I'll increase the stroke size. This gives a cool illusion and it makes it non-destructive when designing a logo inside of Illustrator. Afterwards, what you can do is go ahead and outline that stroke and use the Pathfinder or even even the shape builder tool to actually get rid of those strokes that you put in so the logo is ready for the client. Number six is making a grid easily. Graphic design is all about using grids. When you use typography, do posters, do any sort of form of composition, grids are going to be your best friend. Now you can see a lot of people make grids and it takes a long time for them, but there is this cheeky little feature inside of Adobe Illustrator where if you create a shape or a square around the artboard that you're using or the frame that you're using, say if it's a poster, if you create a shape with a stroke around there and then go up to object and down to split into grid. And when you do this, you can put your grid parameters in there. This will make all your strokes go into a specific grid that you've set out. Number seven follows from number six, which is that you can make guides out of any shape in Adobe Illustrator. Because everything is a path and everything is a vector bezier curve or path, then you can create a guide 
sides out of it. So once you've gone ahead and added your grid, no matter what kind of grid it is, you can press Command 5 when that shape is selected and it will turn it into a guide where you can switch it on or off. And if you wanted to turn the guides on or off, just press command and semicolon. And when you do that, the guides will turn off and on. You can even go into the document preferences and change the color of your guides as well if you want to. I always change it to cyan or a different magenta color. Number eight is for anyone that does a lot of pen tooling inside of Illustrator. And that is that you can change the handle size and the anchor point size with an Illustrator. Go to the document preferences or press command K and you can go to the guides and selection tool. From there, you can change the sizes of your handles to your personal preference of what you like to see. And you can also make it so you can see all the handles and the guides when you select it with the direct selection tool which looks really cool on Instagram, by the way. Number nine is especially helpful for anyone that does illustrations or anyone that doesn't want to design destructively. And that is called scaling strokes and effects. So normally when you're designing something and you add a stroke inside of Illustrator, that stroke will stay the same point size no matter how much you scale it. So that means that if you were to have like a three point stroke or a 10 point stroke and you scale it down, the stroke will look thicker in the shape because it stayed at the same point size. But what you can do is when you check this little box inside of Illustrator, it will scale them proportionately to the transform size that you've created. This means that you don't have to worry and that stroke is still just a stroke and it's not an actual shape layer inside of Illustrator. So it makes everything less destructive. Number 10 is probably one of my favorite ones, which is finding cool colors inside of Adobe Illustrator. I can make a whole video about colors in themselves, but that is just for another video. But this one, all you have to do is go to your color swatch and down at the bottom, there's this little cheeky icon that you never see and it's never been publicized very much. But Adobe have got their own color website, basically, where you can add color, explore different colors that people have created from professionals to normal people, and you can add them into your swatches library. So go ahead and click that and then you can search, add your own colors, work out which colors work best and then you can use them in your project guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it helped you if you did enjoy it please remember to press that red subscribe button and follow me on tiktok instagram twitter and all of these places let me know any tips you have down below in the description this video is brought to you by skillshare if you're new to design a seasoned veteran or someone who just wants to brush up your skills, then Skillshare is the place for you to learn. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to do with photography, design, business, hand lettering, graphic design, and even more design. These classes are taught by industry professionals, and not only can you take part in these classes, you can actually make your own classes too. My favorite class has been with Seb Lester, where I learned a lot of calligraphy tips and tricks from the viral master himself. But not only that, you've got Ian Barnard, who creates and shows you how to do script lettering as well. And that's a hugely, hugely beneficial video and class for you to watch. I think one of the best things about Skillshare, especially for designers like myself, when you're learning a new skill or a new part of design is that you can actually upload your work as a project file. You can upload it and then the class creator can critique it, help you out, give you tips and show you where you're going wrong and what you're doing right. So it really gives you that one-on-one -on -one feel. If you'd like to explore your creativity, then click the link down below in the description for two months of Skillshare Premium. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to press that red subscribe button so you don't miss any videos like this. And if you think a friend would like to know about this or someone else, then feel free to share this on your social media sites, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. I would love to connect with you over there and for any of the legends that have stayed to this part of the video come design with me is only one week away so stick around for that see you later goodbye